hi guys welcome to brains and the beat if you're new here please like comment share and subscribe and if you're already but gunny thank you for staying tuned to your girl so in today's video we're going to be talking about arlene mcbean and if you guys don't know who she is she's the chairman of the police federation and she was today fired so let's get into this article it says loop news understands that arlene mcbean has been replaced as chairman of the police federation information reaching our new center is that the vocal police corporal who last year became the first female to head the body that represents rank and file members of the jamaican constabulary force was replaced following a meeting of senior members of the organization the circumstances around the development are still unclear at this time but sources to the but sources from the federation have told loop news that outgoing president had fell out of favor with some members of the organization loop news is tracking this development story and will update as more details become available so it's not that she's incompetent or she cannot do her job or she hasn't been doing a great job is just because they didn't favor her anymore and when you're in a field like the JCF which is predominantly male and you have a vocal female like Arlene you're going to buck up into some form of issue some form of problems especially with men and their egos and a female at that sitting as chairman of the jcf she's definitely not going to be favored and arlene was the one that actually allowed the jcf officers to have higher wages she was the one that took the government and said that the police of jamaica needed more money and they actually got the amount of money that they wanted under her being the chairman so i don't understand why she is not chairman anymore but i would love to see who she's going to be replaced with and more than likely it's going to be a male i don't know what the issue is with jamaican being in the jcf our article came out in the gleaner yesterday stating that how not a lot of females are allowed in the jcf they're very far and few in between and the ones that are are allowed are very very old and they have high rankings in the jcf as far as newcomers go there are none and i find that to be a big problem um i feel like they are just as capable as jamaican men of doing the job so comment what your thoughts are in the comment section do you think that is because the jcf is predominantly male why she is no longer chairman and do you think that more females need to be in the jcf and hold high ranking position in the jcf what are your thoughts don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one deuces